They all wear Prussian military uniforms, uh, and they are all boys. And the professors, of course, also are all male Jesuit priests. Why is there such a bias in numbers of female students when it comes to natural sciences and especially engineering? Me and Melanie Tala, who helped organize this event. Do you know the country that has most women engineering study courses in the world? They say it's Algeria. The statistics say that they have the highest number of engineering students. This is the graduates in Germany and in Japan. Number of STEM graduates in 2019. So both of our countries need to change something. When a diverse group of people come together, there is an inherent need for clarity and understanding. It pushes us to communicate better and to explain our thoughts our processes and our motives. This act of constant communication fosters an environment where transparency thrives, which is a prerequisite for the betterment of the quality of research. Secondly, the creativity that blossoms in diverse group of is unparalleled. When individuals from various backgrounds, experiences and perspectives collaborate, the pool of ideas is vast and rich. It allows for innovation and out-of-the-box solutions that might never have been conceived in a homogeneous setting. We also started hashtag WeChange campaign. In 2022, as we started it, it made also national headlines. Apply a win-win situation. Apply coaching skills because we know from research that if women adopt a coaching um, attitude kind of like asking questions, leading by asking. Um, if women, for example, who are seen as nurturing and caring, care by asking, what is it that you need? They are leading, they can make a difference. Guten Tag, and I was qualified, yeah? And for the first six, five months, I always wanted to go back to Japan. But I enjoyed a lot because I wanted to test myself how far I can swim in the different environment. I felt I could go through the new path, going through something new. And I think that females engineers in Germany and in Japan probably have the similar situation you need to explore. So in Germany, I see lots of Japanese ladies who are in the, in the leading positions. For example, the general consul uh, in Hamburg and in Dusseldorf, they're both uh, female, Japanese diplomats. So those people are getting into the leading positions, and I think Japanese society starts to accept the female people to get into the leading positions. So when we are courageous enough to face the challenges and try to change the things together, I think we have the way. Forward. Could you provide guidance to women engineers aiming to build successful careers, whether on a global scale or specifically in Japan? This is a community issue. Yeah, It's our common interest to bring this topic ahead because we are facing so many challenges in this world. Social challenges, professional challenges, in economy, in industry. It's not with a singular solution, you're not going to solve it. Yeah, We have to solve it together. Yeah, it's not men against women, it's not look at the, looking at the differences. I think we first have to focus on the commonalities. Communication skill is one of the important things. I had the opportunity to work at different German companies, partly in Germany, but also a long time in Japan. There was the name Bosch before, um, then another company in the automotive industry, Knorr Bremse, and now at uh, Mahle. So with these companies, uh, something was in common there. Um, because these companies had bought Japanese companies and were in the process of integration. Partly I was initiating and leading the acquisition process, but in all cases I was part of the integration process. And if you connect organizations, you want of course to leverage the synergies you have targeted with this acquisition, but in the end it's about connecting people. 
増やしていく、まずは増やしていくのが重要だと思います。First of all, we have to increase the numbers of engineering students and women who take part in the engineering so that we can actually make a change. So,、uh, early education in, uh, uh, for, for female students, female on, on the environment. We need more women in role models who are seen, who are listened to, embrace power, embrace leadership, embrace responsibility.